Hey everybody, Austin here, back with some more of my Let's Play series on Dark Souls. So, when we last left off, we had unlocked the shortcut up here as we were about to go... Well, we tried and we failed against the Capra Demon. As you can see, it's kind of a... This is one of those first... This is, this is the boss that's gonna get you, boss. You gotta... Be, uh, real prepared to, one, get rid of those dogs, so that way you'll be able to... Not die against him. Should be able to both of those guys at once. Took a little fire damage there, but I'm not too worried about it. Bam! Take you down. I don't only do 75. I should have done a lot more. How I hit him, maybe? I'm not sure. Drop. He dropped one. Yeah, it dropped some humanity. Awesome. So, as you can see, rats really do drop humanity. So let's run back over there and try to see if we can beat the Capra Demon this time. Take two of Capra Demon fight. The sequel. Um, I'm kind of in a nice bliss right now. I um got into the Dark Souls 2 network test, so I will be doing that tomorrow night at 1 a.m. in the morning till 4 a.m. in the morning. So I'm excited for that. Um, I don't think I'm going to post any videos of it on my channel just because the EULA um, asked that you don't. I'll probably record footage just for myself so I can look at it and review it and talk about it, but I don't think I'll be posting any video. Unless if they say, hey, go ahead and do it. I'll go ahead and do it. And I know other people have been doing it, but you know, I don't want to get really any copyright strikes on me or anything like that, so I'm going to keep it off YouTube for now. You know, they may, once the game comes out, they may eventually say, hey, go ahead and show all that beta foot, all that network test footage, but until they do, unfortunately, I'll just talk about my impressions on it. And that's real nice of them here. They actually brought my souls outside. So I got some of those souls back that I lost. Sometimes you have to, they're in here and you have to actually go through the fight to get to it. So let's do this. Let's drop you. Drop you. I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. Let's see if we can, we can throw an alluring skull and attract them. Now, it doesn't get all enemies, but it might be able to get those dogs off of us. We'll do it over here. Oh, wow. Run, run, run. Mess this up. Oh, gotta roll off. And we died. So that did not work at all. Did not work at all, but it's alright. We will try again. What what level is my sword at? Five, alright. So I got my Zwayander at the max level I can actually use it at. Let's get back up there. Ran right into that fire. 190. Oh. Wow, how I did not die on that. That's amazing. I will have to use some Estus though. As you can see, if you even just fool around a little bit in this game, you can die. Let's mess this up. Two Estus, just get us back up to 100. I missed you, alright. Now we got you. Come on, drop some humanity. No, alright. 
to some points in the game where I end up farming humanity. Go. Keep running. Now we don't have to actually beat because I took the master key. We don't actually have to beat this demon to re to uh, ring the bell. But if we want to get a bunch of the stuff, like especially if we want to get the ember that allows us to take our weapon to plus ten, then we need to beat him. Plus, it's good practice. You know, I've, it's been a couple of months since I've played, so it'd be good to actually get the practice in. Plus, I got to get ready for the uh, Dark Souls two beta. You out. Now my souls aren't gonna conveniently be at the gate anymore. Yeah, they're inside the boss area. Got both of them. Awesome. So let's try this again. Because I didn't grab my souls up there, I lost all my souls. But I survived a little longer. The goal is on that fight is you need to get away from the dogs. Once you can get away from the dogs, it allows you to uh, make it much easier. Now, this also is probably a good fight to see. You might want to check and see if uh, we can maybe summon someone so I can show you a little bit what the multiplayer looks like. Because this is a good one for multiplayer summoning. Use a humanity. Make ourselves human. First hollow. Notice I stopped being ugly. I'm now looking pretty human. And a lot of it's just going to depend on if anyone's playing at this time. Now it's about 12:40 Central Time on a Friday afternoon, so there might be some people playing, there might not be. But because I am summoning someone, he's gonna have- the boss will have more health. I usually just take him out by my own, but we will see if we can get anyone summoned. not have any invincibility frames there. One thing with this sword is why it is a lot powerful, it, you know, it leaves you very vulnerable for attacks. Nothing. Alright, let's run back. Shortcuts once you unlock them can really make the game uh, a lot faster to get to places. And there's another shortcut too, or another shortcut system, which I won't spoil till we get to it. But something else that will, once we unlock that, will make travel even faster. And it actually makes sense in the contents of the game too for the system. That's one of the things too is they just don't add a system on this just to add a system. The developers made everything fit within the world. Like, if there's a reason for the Switch, well, there's a reason for the Switch. One down. So I just wanted to test how many swings it take to kill it. The one should kill it. Oh, and here you can see. So you see we have that white summoning stone there? That's a gut player waiting to come in. So let's go ahead and summon Linola Mercury. See if we can catch him. 
hoping to catch him, it looks like. Dang it. You were a little too slow. We'll just go up here a little bit more, see if someone else comes in. Someone's there. Balzamori. Let's summon him. Let's see if we get him in. The system on this, so Dark Souls 1 doesn't use dedicated servers. They wanted to in order to make it so that it could always be played. They had it so it was, um, you know, you always had a host computer and you were playing off of each other's machines. So Dark Souls 2, though, will have dedicated servers, so hopefully that will make things a lot easier. Or multiplayer and a lot, mo lot less laggier. And did we get him? We got him. Cool. Should be coming up from the ground here. Yeah. Let's already go and Let's bow to him. Kind of cut him courtesy. And let's go and try out this boss again. Team in. There should be one more dog. You got him? Right. Well, and he's doing fire damage. down. So you see how much easier that was. So summoning players definitely makes it better. Some of these enemies it's much easier to tackle on with multiple people. So we got the key to the depths, some humanity, homeward bone, and a sunlight metal. Let's grab our lost souls from that. And let's take a look at what that key was we got. Key to the depths. He opens the door from the lower undead berg to the depths. Those banished from the undead berg eked out their existence in the depths. A damp layer with no trace of sunlight, nearly half of the depths form a perilous flooded labyrinth. So that's one thing people a lot of times complain about. Well, the game doesn't tell me where to go. Well, it kind of does. It gives you a key, and the key tells you exactly where to go. You just have to, you know, take the time and read the description of the items and read everything around you, which I think a lot of people don't do that. They just say, oh, okay, I'm ex the game should give me an arrow. It should point me to where my next mission is, you know? No, this game respects you as a player and expects you to respect it. And here's where we go next. Key to the depths. Head down. Always gotta be on the lookout when going to a new place because you never know what could be around the corner. It's just these asshole guys. Well, as you can see, one was right behind me. I don't even remember he was there. Uh, looks like some souls over here. I don't remember, can I jump onto that? I think I can't. Oop, and as you can see there, there's a uh, butcher over there. She's a mean one. Kind of hiding from you. We know she'll drop down then on us. But let's continue on down this way. A little bit of a backstab. Uh, let's us this up, because these guys are assholes and could take out a lot of our life. Especially with those fires. Stagger him with a, with a kick. Take him out. They don't have a lot of health, they're just. their damages can be. asshole ish. there. 
That was all my fault. Oh, I think there's one more over here. Let's repost him. I haven't repost him in a while. Ooh, only got half a repost there. Now let's go down and fight our first butcher. Well, first we'll, we'll take out dog. And I think there's another dog over there too. Let me aggro that without aggroing the butcher. Yep, looks like it. Looks like we did aggro the butcher, but that's okay. Whoa. Let's see how much that takes out of your shield. One, two. Staggered it. One more hit. We took it out. So three hits double handed. We'll take it out. We'll take her out. Pillage her body. What do we get? A sack. It's basically a different helmet. Let's sit here. Large Ember, cool. So that is what will allow us to take our sword to the next level and take it up to plus 10. Let's go ahead and take out some of these enemies. Okay, overhead hits don't work. Remember, we had that other. Gotta watch out for that other butcher. She's hanging up right there for us. She is right there, ready to ambush us. Let's you. get yeah, this yes, guy out. You. Here, over, over here. Please, you must help me. Would have been a supper without you. Been eaten alive. I shudder to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius. Or the great swamp. I will not forget my debt to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. So he's a pyromancer, so he will teach oh, us there. pyromancer spells. Right, let's get ready to fight. This butcher lady. There we go. L little less room here for maneuverability. Oh, wow. That sucked. Let's heal up. Get behind her. Oh man. Shoot, I almost died there. Got her. Pillage the body, got another sack. So we actually want to go this way now, because there's a little bit of a shortcut we can take that will help us out with our next boss. Our kind of mini boss that we'll fight. Because it doesn't really have a full health bar. But this is kind of the area where they throw out the dead bodies, as you can see as we land on them. And we have this, uh. giant rat here. So we have these black fire bombs, which we'll go ahead and use to take her out. We'll do... That's probably enough. We'll now... Oh, I did not let me plunge attack. Well, it doesn't matter. One hit kill. Which gives us some humanity. We want to make sure we loot the rest of this area here for the sewer chamber key. Take 
take out you guys. Nope. Let's get the rest of the stuff over here too. There was a shield up there, but it's the spider shield, which we already have, so we don't really need another one. Um, that's the entrance if we were to come into it from the other area. Or we can also go down that way, but we're going to take a little bit of a shortcut. We go surfing down. This guy. Double-handed overhead swings. Take them out now. Let's go up this way. Unlock this door. Climb up these stairs. Another fire guy. Here's that sewer chamber key we just unlocked, and voila, we found a bonfire. So we're gonna go ahead and rest up here, light the bonfire and rest. And I think we're gonna call an end to this episode here. You know, thanks everyone for watching. If you made it this far, if you liked the video, please like it. It does help me out a lot. Um, Leave comments, tell me what I could have done better, or some things you'd like me to see me to do with this playthrough. You know, I'm always up for suggestions, and I'll respond to any comments someone gives me. Um, if you like watching my Let's Play videos, such as Dark Souls 2, or just any of my other series, such as Binding of Isaac, EU4, subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Hilldog1378. That will, um, I also post when all my videos go live there. So, again, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.